Hi guys. It is a hot, sticky, smoky, miserable day here in paradise in the green mountains of Vermont where a little dog is uh, thinking about his summer. Oh, Jesus. Did not get much sleep last night. Anyway, we have somehow, the little dog and I, have stumbled into Wednesday, July 10th, 2019, and uh, I am running late uh, to uh, <coughs> get out there. I need to go uh, meet up with this tiny house builder to try to figure out if the tiny house option is the way to go. So, what I my what I told myself is, okay, I'm, uh, uh, you have five minutes, five minutes to uh, open up the mainstream media to uh, put together your We Are So Fucked Doomer Headline Roundup rant. So this is what, you know, it used to be, you know, when I started this channel 10 years ago, uh, trying to find any mention on the mainstream media about how fucked we are. Uh, five minutes on an average day in the summer of 2019 produced four stories. So we are just going to, uh, little dog, you're, I'm going to have to pick the little, no, I'm too afraid I'm going to bump into this nasty, look at, look at this, guys. You need to go over here. Yes. Well, we'll try to go out for you to go poop in a minute. We need to work on the, the pooping. Uh, don't you even think about jumping off that chair. Yeah, you better lay your ass down. Anyway, okay, this is just how they rolled off. This was, I think, the sixth biggest story on the planet, Yahoo News Today. <clears throat> Horrifying video shows Indonesian locals riding distressed sea turtle. A disturbing video of Indonesian locals riding a clearly distressed giant sea turtle has suffered. The nearly four-minute video shows several men jumping on the back of an endangered leatherback turtle as it makes its way toward the oceans. The, the locals apparently captured it after she laid eggs on the beach. Uh, at the beginning of the clip, an elderly man sits on the turtle and poses for the cameras while three others look on. Then a younger man jumps on the turtle and casually eats a snack without any regard for the turtle's suffering. Another man and a child join in on the fun before a fifth person squeezes himself on top of the turtle and puts his feet on her head. As the video progresses, more locals attempt to hop on the turtle's back before it gets into the water. One man even stands on the sea creature's flippers for amusement. Though Indonesia does have regulations that protect sea turtles and advise the locals to leave sea mother sea turtles alone, local authorities have yet to comment on the video. Uh, leatherbacks are the largest turtle species Blah, blah, blah. In the last century, however, their population has declined due to egg collection and fisheries bycatch. Uh, anybody wondering why humans need to go extinct 
by what is the term that all raw Paul, what is it all raw Paul? It's time for us to go. I hope every one of those clueless motherfuckers dies some sort of horrible, painful death and burns in hell for eternity. And my guess is particularly that young Indonesian child is going to get his karma coming back in spades on his clueless fucking little planet nibbling ass. Okay, from the shithole country of shit stains in Indonesia, let's go over to South Africa. Refueling, refueling under scrutiny as South Africa penguins hit by oil spill. Rangers in wetsuits have been searching for oil-tarred penguins in shallow waters around St. Croix Island. This is another St. Croix off the South African coast as a refueling spill highlights conservationist fears over pollution. Experts say an unknown number of penguins had been affected on the rocky, uninhabited island, which is home to the largest breeding colony of, Afri of endangered African penguins in the world. Yes, a Liberian flagship spewed between 200 and 400 liters of oil uh, during a refueling operation. You can be sure as a hell of a lot, uh, a hell of a lot bigger than this. This is Stacy Webb of the Southern African Foundation for the Conservation of Coastal Birds. Quote, this is exactly the concern with offshore bunkering that we have been voicing concerns about. The danger is not over yet. Penguins forage up to 100 kilometers away from the islands so they could run into the spill out at sea. Bunkering only started in 2016 with the shipping industry promoting it as an economic boost for the area. Uh, now there are plans to develop the bay into a major refueling hub for international vessels. Uh, Anyway, then we look at all the reasons why South African penguins are completely fucked. Oh, Jesus. Okay, from the shithole country of South Africa to, I guess this is probably just anywhere on the planet, thousands of endangered animals Seized in Customs Operation. This is coming out of Paris, is what the dateline is. Police and customs officials have carried out the most widespread anti-wildlife trafficking operation ever in a global operation that has led to the seizure of tens of thousands of endangered animals and the arrest of nearly 600 suspects. Uh, the, the bus was carried out across 109 countries in June. Uh, so we have nearly 10,000 live turtles and tortoises 1,500 other live reptiles, 23 live apes, 30 live big cats, hundreds of pieces of elephant tusks, half a ton of ivory, and five rhino horns. 
Yes. Uh, this is Interpol Secretary General Jurgen Stock. Wildlife crime not only strips our environment of its resources, it also has an impact through the associated violence, money laundering, and fraud. Uh, good Lord. This was Operation Thunderball. Yes. Uh, we will see. Interpol warned, however, that seizures and arrests are only a first step and that, quote, governments now must follow up with strong, meaningful prosecutions. And if you want to know how many uh, people commenting on that story, out of a planet of almost 8 billion people, that would be two people. But uh, I guess not every reader of Car and Driver magazine is a clueless fucking moron because Car and Driver magazine has the, their finger on the pulse of the Doomosphere and they have a new guide, the 10 best vehicles for tackling the apocalypse. Yes. Name a doomsday scenario and one of these vehicles might help you survive it. Now, I don't know how many of these 10 can turn from a car into a boat, although I expect that some of them probably can because, uh, and I don't know how many of them, uh, you, you know, run on water or whatever, although there's not going to be any water either. Not a day goes by that a new, wacky, dystopian, doomsday theory bubbles up in your news feed. <coughs> yes, America is saber-rattling Iran and North Korea. Antibiotic-resistant superbugs are on the rise, and you just never know, you just never know when society might crumble. So, uh, let's see. And then uh, they look at, uh, oh, the Toyota Tacoma TRD shows up. The truck in my driveway. Yes. Uh, that, of course, it would be the four-wheel, uh, the four-wheel drive option of the Toyota Tacoma TRD. So, uh, anyway, where is this badass-looking thing that they saved for the end? Uh, I like the Mercedes-Benz Defense Unimog Crew Cab Troop carrier. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Mercedes Benz. Here it is. The Inca, the Incas riot control vehicle. And then they look for the doomsday event. This is in the event of heavy rioting strategy. In the event of heavy rioting, pacify the masses. Put the kibosh on civil disobedience and you could be running a town or a greaseball militia before you know it and stability and protection is powerful social currency and post apocalyptic times. Yes, I think the Incas riot control vehicle is my uh, personal favorite for the vehicle 
to survive the apocalypse. Anyway, guys, I'm so glad that Car and Driver magazine is having uh, such a laugh with the collapse of global industrial civilization and the planet. But good for them, you know, good for Car and Driver. And I'm so glad to know that the Toyota Tacoma TRD made their list of the top 10 cars for the apocalypse. You know, I have, who was it who uh, called my truck the, was it my sister, the Doom Mobile, that this is the vehicle I plan to drive into the apocalypse. Uh, speaking of which, I need to get in my Doom Mobile now and head out to check out some tiny houses to hide out from uh, Mad Max. That, that was a five minute search. I don't even want to know what the next five minutes would have turned up. Get out there and enjoy the uh, smoke filled wasteland while you still can. Bye guys.